Hey guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and welcome back to Seasons in the City, or as it's called now, the series that slowly every episode increasingly explains why I do not want to move to Bedrock Edition. Today, the problem we've encountered is one, look at that ugly water. What the heck's going on over there? Why does it look like that? But then also, this walking animation is completely broken. This is like actually makes me sort of sick looking at it. Why does the whole screen move sideways? Why are my hands like that? Why is my left hand not even holding the map? They're not even trying anymore. What is this? I'm trying look at the jumpy animation. Why does why does it look like that? Why does my head move down? Did I attach springs to my feet in between episodes? Did I did I do something else to my legs? Did I break my left hand? No, it's just the developers for some reason decided everything needs to be data coded, and also that's why me punching no longer looks like I'm punching, and instead just looks like I'm kind of going, eh, 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 eh. I'm not actually punching. I'm not moving my arm any higher than, like, my waistline. Look at that. This is why <laughs> I do not want to move to Bedrock. I'm going to keep ranting about this. Like, look at that map. That is what I'm going to keep coming back to. Look at how terrible that looks. Look at this walking animation, and I'm going to leave it on this whole episode just to show you why we can't do this because if i were to move to bedrock and every single episode i recorded looked like no no if they don't get this fixed that might be the deciding factor honestly this dumb oh my gosh whoa whoa what the heck what are you stop what the yeah as i was saying the deciding factor in moving to bedrock edition will literally probably be whether or not they fix this walking animation within the next few weeks. Because if they leave this for this long, if they don't fix this dumb hand location where it's not right at all, if they make it so it's like sickening to just walk and jump, we're not moving to Bedrock. We're moving to Java. We're skipping Bedrock because I cannot deal with that. There is absolutely no reason we should have to deal with that every episode. And it is uncomfortable. It is horrible. Why? I just get more annoyed with Bedrock Edition every day I play it, and the marketplace pushing is getting worse. It's getting worse somehow. It's getting worse. Anyways, let's keep exploring the north side of this map. So we were basically just running around to see what we could find. Now this just looks like a llama, but with some cool extra parts, but honestly, this is a pretty cool mob design. That mob, whatever that is, is not a cool mob design, and it scares me. I mean, okay, it is a cool mob design, it's a very cool mob design, and the way it runs toward you is kind of scary. I don't like it because it tries to kill us. I thought this was a nice little map about exploring a city, but now it's also a murder because I just almost got killed by a cat. Now, what I need to know here is where in the world, how do we get up from here? Because there's obviously a beach. They, also, I feel like there's noticeable input lag now. You might not be able to notice it because in my videos when I sync stuff, I sync based on the controller button presses, like, I sync based on that, but when I press this, it seems like there's a half second of input lag, and I'm not sure if that's thanks to Bedrock or my television, but I'm gonna blame Bedrock anyways because it seems related to this whole moving, being data-driven thing. Why? Why does movement- what the heck? Was that just me or did something, like, fly in front of the screen? Um... Yeah, I don't know what they're doing with Bedrock, basically, as we climb this mountain. I just want to talk a little bit more. I, I also went into this in my last video. I don't know what they're doing with Bedrock Edition. I don't like it. And uh, that might be a deciding factor in our Let's Play moving to Java. But this world certainly won't be moving to Java because this world is built with behavior packs, which is why we're going to stay on Bedrock for this series. Now, look at, look at this. Why does it look like that? Why does the tunnel bob up and down every single time that I jump. Uh, can't, how do you not notice this when you're playtesting the game? Do none of the playtesters play with view bobbing? I know that um, Helen Angel doesn't play with view bobbing, and that's probably why it doesn't bug her, because she doesn't even notice the difference. Do all of the bug testers have that same thing? Because that would honestly be an explanation to why it is not being fixed. Or do they just not care? Because either of those, I don't like either of those solutions. Why not just give us an option to change it back to when it didn't look disgusting? 
But anyways, let's get back on topic to this series. Now that we're back in town, I love how this looks. Even at nighttime, this looks really good. I like all the overgrown trees and how like the leaves are falling because it's fall or whatever. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell though where that chicken actually is. Are there like, is it this town? Where is that chicken marker marking? Also, do I have an El No, I don't have an Elytra. Huh. It looks really uncomfortable when you fall for longer than a few seconds. Ugh. I don't like it. Uh, where is this next challenge, though? Because this map is really well designed. 4J has been releasing some other stuff on the marketplace, and it seems to be going down in quality, unfortunately. Like, they released the whole dungeon thing, like, where you kill monsters, and I heard it was just broken in parts. Like, that's not good. And while, yes, this map did break once, that was not, like, I don't know how that happened. It might have just been a game bug instead of, like, the pack or whatever. But then they released this ret retro pack. Now, I think the idea behind the retro pack, pack is really cool, but it just doesn't look that nice in my opinion. Like, even the pattern texture pack, probably the least favorite one by most people, it still looks fine, but the retro pack, it might just be a matter of taste. Maybe everyone else loves it, but to me it just looks really bland. Like, the wood looks kind of weird. But I don't want to bash on 4J, because what the? What the? Wh wh what is this? This isn't a chicken. This is a... What? Is this a throne room? Did we get thrown into a different marketplace map by accident? Uh... What is this? Really? So it's a challenge. We got teleported to an underground lab and told to escape or something. But that's closed. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> is this an escape room challenge? Because that's kind of cool, I guess. I... Hmm. What do I do, though? Is there a lever or a button or... There doesn't seem to be a time limit like the other ones. Like, if you look at the XP bar, it's not going down. There's no time limit. Well, this is interesting. Also, why can't I... Oh, there's a fence there. I can't even see it. Okay, I'm gonna turn up my brightness. I know brightness in bedrocks feels like it does nothing, but we're gonna put it on 100 anyways. Yeah, I don't think that changed anything. What happened to, like, gamma? Where gamma actually... Oh, I thought that was a button. Dumb rat. I thought you were the button I needed. Is it underwater? No, there is no underwater. Okay. Um, well... Is it a parkour challenge? It might be a parkour challenge. Like, find the... Oh, it's definitely a parkour ch Okay, okay, I figured it out. So you gotta parkour up here. You can hit this down. This is like the battle maps where they had all the secret parkour stuff. Okay, okay, wait. Is this intentional? It looks like there's a thing up there that I can go to, right? Is this not intentional? Dang it. Well, okay, I gotta get up there somehow. Okay, now we got a goal. Goals to get up there. Oh, there's... There's doors. Okay, but they don't go anywhere. I thought that the doors might just be the way out, which would be really disappointing for me to figure out after all that. Um, this is definitely an interesting challenge. It's different because it's not, like, telling me. Also, this pillar is exactly the same as the other one. They, like, cloned it. Well, I don't know where to go then, if all the pillars are the same. Wait. Oh, it's in the chair, maybe? We can get in the chair. Let's see, we can jump up here. Nope. It's not in the chair. So where- Okay, this is actually stumping me. Am I just being really dumb, or is this actually an interesting challenge? Huh. Well, I am intrigued. This is probably my... Okay, this is n not even joking. Probably my favorite part of the map so far, because it's interesting. There's stakes. I mean, I don't... I can't get out. I mean, I don't think I have to worry about starvation, because I gave myself all these carrots. They gave me a bunch of food, though. And the fact that they gave me a bunch of food makes me think I'm going to be stuck down here for a while. So... Yeah, I hope there's some cool parkour or something. Some way to get out that's not just, like, find the butt... Wait... No, I don't give up. Okay, I just remembered something. 
Uh, they promised to add pausing. Okay, the reason I say this is because I just had to cut my video since the Xbox only records for 10 minutes at a time. Uh, they cut the pausing. They said they would add pausing to the game almost over a year ago. And it's not come. <laughs> what happened? So there's a give up button. Okay, so they know this is difficult. Okay, okay. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I like this a lot. The question is... Where do we go? This is like an adventure map. I love adventure maps. I really like old times on the Xbox 360, like the Sword of Alcazar, and then the um, Tree of Life, and then there was the... I can't remember the makers. Oh, there was the Toy Story Adventure. We actually played that one on this channel a long time ago. Then there was like the... Oh, there were so many good Xbox... Th the Lost Sword, for one. There were so many good Xbox 360 adventure maps that... Um, this reminds me of them, and that's a good thing. Also, is this the solution? <gasps> okay, I think that might be the solution, because we found, like, some sort of parkour. We can get to that back area where we want to get. So, the interesting thing is, we don't know where the exit is. Now, so wait, where was it that we went? We went up here around the outside of the room, and then we went along these curtains. Now, the the darkness, guys, um, I can't even see this thing about three curtains in. Like, okay, past this next curtain, I can't even see the floor anymore. And so that means your YouTube video is very dark, probably, because YouTube always darkens things for some reason. Okay, so here's ground. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Is this going to make me do um, fence parkour? Oh, okay. So now we're on this back area. Oh, this has to be intentional. This is 100% intentional. This is awesome. I am so happy that, um... Wow, that's interesting. At the start of this video, I was so negative about Bedrock, and then now I found this awesome challenge, and now this is actually really cool. But where do I go? So I'm back here. That's further than we've gotten. Oh, wait. There's cobwebs. Hmm... Are they just cobwebs, or are they something more? Probably just cobwebs, but if they're just cobwebs, what do I do? I am super interested by this area and everything, but I'm worried we might not be able to actually find the solution in video. Um, <laughs> I think a night vision potion would be really helpful in here, which is why I wish I could get one, because it's really dark. If you can't tell, I can't see anything up here, especially these curtains. Um, oh, here's something. Oh. Ah, oh, I thought there was, like, it was changing, so I thought it was becoming something different. So, I don't even know what I'm looking for. It just said to escape. So, is it a button, or a door, or a trap door, or am I actually climbing all the way out of that pit I fell down, or... Am I opening the back door, maybe? Am I... What am I doing? What is my goal? This is a really cool area. It's like... Okay, this is probably the most custom map that the map has felt so far, honestly. But that's not a bad thing. I'd prefer custom maps, actually, to, like, mashup maps. Because custom maps are so well designed. And that's why I like the Greek mythology world. Because it was like a world with custom map stuff in it. But it was also a mashup world. So, like, if the answer's just like there's a button in the dark somewhere, that's a dumb answer. But, I don't think 4J would do that. 4J is better than that. They don't do stuff like that. They don't, <laughs> they don't do dumb solutions like that. So, there's gotta be somewhere. Right? I'm gonna feel so dumb if I have to look this up. Okay, watch it just be one of these torches is a lever. Like, <laughs> um, this is actually difficult. I didn't think I'd be saying that today about Seasons in the City, the map design for just to relax in a giant city. But I am. What is this? So this is like a big escape room, I'm guessing. But I don't, <laughs> I don't know where to go. I don't know where the buttons are. I don't even know if I'm looking for a button or what. Uh, I don't want to press give up. 
Okay, we'll get to the end of this video. If we don't find a solution by the end of this video, I will press give up. I don't want to do that. I really want to find the solution. But if I end up looking it up and the solution is like, there was a button hidden beneath one of the fences in the floor, if you look down, that's not something interesting. That is something that's like, really? That was the solution? And now, I sort of made puzzles that were kind of dumb like that, but they're super tiny rooms. Like, all of my puzzles that I created in a map that I never ended up releasing were in a 7x7 seven seven room. So I could do dumb stuff because people would have to look for dumb stuff because the room was that tiny. In this room, it's gigantic. <laughs> I don't know where to look. It's not in the chair. It's not in the hallway. It's not under the chair as far as I can tell, unless it's like behind one of these things. Which it's not. It's not over here. It's not beneath this. It's not in the chair. Is it behind one of these? Nope. So it's not the chair. The chair is unrelated. This wall looks like it opens, by the way. Uh, where do we go? Gang, I think this mystery is too difficult for us. Uh, <laughs> so those are all torches. They're all torches. There's no secrets there. Since we're in adventure mode, we can't break anything. I don't think they'd hide anything in the water, because they're not that ridiculous. I don't even know what I'm looking for. This is actually stumping me. And we're gonna run out of the game-given food pretty soon. We might have to give up if we run out of the game-given food. I mean, we have our own food, so we technically never need to give up. But they... This map is made for small children, right? It's not supposed to be... <laughs> um... Ooh. Ooh. Can we get on those? If we can get on those, we get up there. Or on the chandeliers, maybe. Okay, let's look into this. So we haven't... We can't get on the railing. Can we get on the railing? Okay, I don't think we can get on the railing. We can go out front of the railing, though. Now, okay, now that I think about it, 4J Studios can be absolutely evil. Remember the mob heads or the music discs in the battle lobby? Those are so hard to get. If we're looking for something like that... Man, I don't know if we can do that. I feel like I'm just being so dumb, but... I don't know what to do. I honestly am stumped. I've explored, as far as I can tell, as much as the room as I can. There, I haven't seen any secret levers or buttons. I got to this back area, but there's nothing here. So there's got to be something in this back area, right? They wouldn't just build all this and then do nothing with it. We have our brightness all the way up, and I still can't see anything. So what do I do, though? Seems like I broke through the ceiling or something and then fell down. So, it was my goal to get back up through the ceiling? Why are there mobs down here? What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Honestly. Where are we supposed to go? We might have to give up, guys. We're getting pretty close to the end of this video, aren't we? Oh, I don't want to do that. This seems like such a well-designed challenge, but I... I can't find the solution. I'm not smart enough for the map Seasons in the City. What in the world? <laughs> Has this map really outsmarted me? I don't believe it. Okay, we're gonna hit the button. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do it. So we just... What did it do? Did it put me in a prison? Because I didn't solve it? Come on, game. You don't have to be a poor sport about things. <sighs> Is there an escape? Okay, well, I can almost fit through there. If I was on Java, you could fit through there. Am I just this dumb? Are these doors? These are not doors. What is going on? <laughs> how am I this dumb? What is wrong with this room? Seriously, how is this map beating me? How? 
How? Is it broken or is it beating me? It literally trapped me in this room. What? Is there a secret thing in a hole or something? Is that actually a solution? Wait, hold up. No, it's not. If we can't find the thing, I'm actually going to go into creative and clip out of this. Because I don't, I don't know what we're doing anymore. This map seems well designed. I seem to like that room. But I don't know what to do. I don't even know how to get out of this room. Are you kidding me? This room? This isn't even a real room. This is like created for the custom map. It's just the end. How can I not finish the end? What is wrong with me and this map? It, I feel like it's here, right? This looks like something, but it's a slab, so you can't swim in it. Okay, I'm sorry guys. I don't know if I'm just really dumb, or if I... Okay. <laughs> so, it's a mansion. I'm just gonna fly around in creative, because I want to find the actual solution. I don't know where it is. I don't even know how to get out of the stinking finishing room. So it's like a haunted mansion, right? Except the scariest part is that I don't know the answer. So... Okay, there's command blocks up here. Scoreboard? Okay, so it's... Wait. Set block air. What block is that? Set block seven? How do we activate that? So it wants to... Mm, someone's gonna put a redstone block there? What? What is this? Is this like a cloning area? Like for things they can clone and move around? So this is the door. Oh, and this is the door, but like finished, like it's open. So what? What is this mini game? Activate door. Okay. Set block air. Close final drop. Clone. Set block air, ticking area, haunted house. Oh, the haunted house. Okay, so we need to slash ticking area. Actually, we need to figure out what haunted house is. Ah, oh, we can't find the haunted house ticking area because we don't know where it is. Detect drop, detect exit, detect exit door, close door. I appreciate them for labeling everything. Oh, wait, here's something activated. Detect drop. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm sorry. This map has stumped me. I don't know if this is intentional or if I'm just really dumb. I can't figure it out. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. So let's go back in. Let's just... Oh. Since we gave up, we can't do it, I guess. Uh, let's see where... Oh. Oh. Oh, well, um, I guess we don't need the button. Are you kidding me? Oh. So you fall down, and it tells you to escape. And... Question mark, question mark? I have no idea where to go. Does this... What the... Wait. What? Guys, did you see what just happened? It closed the door. That- this door just closed. What? <laughs> Excuse me? What- what? Okay, so there really is nothing behind this. So what is this for then? What is any of this? What is this map? Okay guys, I'm going to end this episode now. Um, I don't know where to go. I mean- Okay, hey, remember when I said it looks like this door opens? Well, look what it look what it does, guys. It opens. What do you know? Let's see what the heck goes on behind here. It's just another 
It's just more doors. It keeps going. Okay. You know what, guys? Um, I think we'll come back and do this for real next episode. This episode is a good introduction. It closed the door. So it's a good introduction. Uh, we learned something. I'm not sure what. We learned that this is a confusing map. And that we will have to come back here later. If someone in the comments can explain to me what in the world is going on, please do. <laughs> I need to know. I need to know what in the world triggered this door and that door closing. And now it's open again. I don't understand anything. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you later.